So basically, I finished reading this book in bus. Actually, my journey to university involves a long bus ride, which takes up a significant portion of my day. So I was thinking, why not utilize the time? Although most of the time I remain dead tired, but then again, when I'm in a good health, I make certain I read a few pages. Hi everyone, it's Meme and welcome back to another new book review. So in today's video guys, we are going to be talking about The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Now, The Four Agreements is a self-help book that offers you a roadmap to a beautiful life where you will have, you know, personal freedom and less unnecessary sufferings. So yes, without any delay, let's know about the agreements. The first agreement is be impeccable with your words. The most powerful tool we have as the human is the word. The right use of our word can change everything and again the misuse of our word can destroy everything. For your better understanding, let's say you love singing and you practice it every now and then. But one day your best friend says that your voice is so funny and you sound so ridiculous while you sing. And that's it. This is enough to put you down in hell. Now here, maybe your friend has a good heart, but maybe she had a bad day or maybe she is tired and that's why she delivered all her personal poison to you. So the message that the first agreement tried to convey is that while you are speaking, make sure your words do not hurt anyone. They are not contagious to anyone, okay? You should not deliver your personal poison to others. Rather, try to speak with love, care and affection. It will ensure the betterment of everyone the next agreement is don't take anything personally because what others say or do is the reflection of others beliefs and opinions rather than a true assessment of your abilities now let's say you have posted a decent photo on facebook but you have got a bunch of negative comments now the writer of this book says not to take these negative comments personally because these negative comments are based on others beliefs opinions perspective and mood you know rather than a true assessment of your abilities however if you take these negative comments personally it means you are appreciating and respecting the garbage thoughts of others okay and making the poison of your own therefore avoid taking things personally it will help you to focus on your personal improvement rather than living in negativity the third agreement is don't make assumptions. Now, making assumptions is problematic because it leads you to misunderstanding, fights, difficulties, etc. To make it more clear, if I give you an example, then in terms of romantic relationships, we often expect our partner to know what we want without asking anything. We make assumptions that we know each other so well, maybe we don't need to clarify anything to each other, okay? And that is where the problem lies, you know. Uh, if the partner somehow fails to fulfill uh, the beloved's desire, it leads to miscommunication, misunderstanding and all the negative things. And it's wrong to expect something from someone without asking because no one has the ability to read our mind except ourselves, okay? We should not think that everyone else knows what we want, what we feel. Therefore, it's always better to use your voice to ask for what you want. Make sure the communication is clear and there is no obscurity and assumption in your relationships. If you don't understand anything, it's always better to ask questions and be clear. So if you can communicate in this way, you will always be away from misunderstanding, sadness, drama and all the negative emotions. So rather than assumptions, ask questions. The final agreement is related to the first three agreements and it says always do your best meaning give your maximum effort in implementing the first three agreements. The first three agreements will only work if you do your best. Therefore, do your best not to hurt anyone with your words. Do your best not to take things personally. Do your best not to make assumptions and have the courage to ask questions. Now here, one thing to note, doing your best might not be possible all the time due to issues like health, energy and external factors. But the writer of this book says, you should try to do your best no matter what the circumstance is because while you will do your best, you will feel good about yourself and you won't have any regrets later. So that's all we have time for today guys. I really hope you find this video useful and please do share in the comment below if you have any observation and opinion regarding this book and regarding my video. I would love to hear from you. So yes, that's all for the time being and see you in the next one.